So, apprentice mechanic, Alf, is trying to put his nose in a funnel. So the clocks have um, have gone forward now, so we get nice longer evenings, which is good. Um, especially good seeing as we're not very good at mornings. We're heading off from. I'm not. I've not got lace in my hair. Um, we're heading off from Gailey this afternoon, just up to Pankridge. Um, we've got six locks to do. It's not that far, and it's fairly pleasant out. Hopefully, it'll stay that way. It's actually t-shirt weather. Nice. Lots filling up nice and quick. Mm. I suppose you did go and get it, so. <laughs> so yeah, lots filling up. There is boat. Steve's gonna get the boat. And I'm gonna do my first down lock. Oh yeah, these gates, because the bridge is there, and that's the A5. Because the bridge is there, the gates are at a funny angle to uh, accommodate. Somehow I can't see me going through there to get to the other side. There's going to be some walking around to do. Okay. Nearly full. Gary top box. And that's the roundhouse, which is an awesome wee shop. Just come out of Gary's lot. Just he's closing the gate. It's amazing. We're told here. Four of the locks on now. Uh, I think there were some people coming up in the queue as well. Um, so the last one was in our favour, and I, I needed the things, so I just ran some paddles, um, opened the gate, and hopped back on. Managed to hop back on without falling in onto the boat while it was moving, which is quite an achievement, really. Uh, but we've just stopped for a minute because there was a bit of an odd noise, so just going to check out what that is. But at the minute, we're next to the M6 which seems really, really fast. Doot doot! So it's Steve's just driving out the lock. And this is Offerton Lock. We're just going up to Penkridge, so see you down there. Plan is tomorrow up by Bridge 83A, I believe it is. 83 or 83A. Cut the bridges down about half a mile or so. Me and Alf are gonna walk because he's taken to eating his bed today as a sign of protest. I'm in a lock. Steve is doing the lock. I'm doing the boat bit. This is Longford Lock. We decided we got Itchy Tiller, um, so we decided to leave Penkridge, although it was really nice and uh, shops were good. A really cool little corner shop just across from the moorings by the cross keys. Nice for a pint. Uh, not a great choice of cider, but cider, cider. Um, so we decided to move on a bit. I think we're going up to Chandler's. And this is like descending into the gates of hell. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Oh, this is weird. It's like a slimy, mossy tomb in this. And the, the dreaded sill. 
and there is Steve doing the doing the quite nice to just stand here and then someone coming through the locks after us so um, that's that's helpful for him oh I'm so sure about this we survived me driving out the lock and I even picked Steve back up again and now that's the M6 Steve is back at the helm. Only for a second, I'm going to hand over before the next bridge. No, you're all right, you can do the bridge. I've just done the lock. <laughs> don't want to be a pie, I don't like gravy. So, yeah, I can now do locks. Definitely happier down here than I would be up there. They're going under the M6. It's so bloody loud. Yeah, yeah. Can't, can, yeah, can't really hear the engine. Lovely, engine. lovely, lovely chugging engine. No, no, you can't hear it. Oh, the chugs and vans and I don't like it. What are your thoughts? I don't like it. <laughs> Motorway Bridge number 88A. It's like a slightly weird tunnel. Mm. Glorious decoration. Once. I thought I said, oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Oh! If I stood on the roof of the boat, I possibly could, or I might end up. There's a giraffe! Look at it! That is that is an approved, Vicky approved piece of graffiti. <laughs> I had to do actual stuff then because I'm just standing in the way of everything. Walk. Onwards. Afternoon. Well, I'm back inside this afternoon because um, Alf had a bit of a mega freak out earlier, largely down to me not going into a lock all that well. So me and him are going to tuck up indoors, just going along for about, probably about an hour's cruise. Uh, there's one lock Steve's going to do. And it's a nice, quiet day. And I'm hungry. Tin of stuff. Only because, right, and there's a reason for the tin of stuff. Because Steve wants the tin for the chimney. So I figured I'd better eat it for him. Totally selfless. bank holiday coming it's raining and we have a yellow warning for snow on monday easter monday so uh yeah we'll see what happens with that come on i mean now we've just come for a little mooch 
by the Stafford River Way Link, which is where they're going to restore the waterways into the centre of Stafford. There's the old lock house. Thought I'd pause that then because he was shouting at a nice lady jogging past. That's it, shake it out, mate. So, yeah, that was uh, Juice Inn's where Steve's been a few days. A few days, a few times in the last couple of days. Um, and uh, Riverway. It's nice, it's kind of weird where we've been moored. It looks like, oh, that's scratching Tim. Um, it looks like, it kind of feels like an estuary. So, I'm just going to wander back now. And the old, do the old doings. Hey, that's noise, eh? Ah, we're coming back to the boat. <sighs> and now he's full of it because there was another dog. There's uh, so, home. Also, where we've been more dark is right opposite the RCR building. That would have been quite handy if anything had broken. Which I'm sure it hasn't, though, because... Falconer is solid. It's not hex things, but. Afternoon and Easter. Happy Easter. It's Good Friday. We're heading on down to Great Haywood. I'm his Irish dog. He's, he's actually a bit calmer today, which is nice. So um, I'm able to do a little bit of filming. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's get in here. Really pretty looking out the other side today. There's lots of trees and things. But every now and then there's an almighty great roar as a train comes flying past. Well, not flying, you know what I mean. Uh, we are right close to the railway here. Um, so it wouldn't necessarily be a great place to moor. But it's a nice place to trundle through and it's a nice day for it so we'll see if we get down as far as Great Haywood um, that's the plan because we need to empty the toilet so I'm dancing around the dog inside's cosy we've not even got the fires lit today it's just not that, that quite, it's a bit nippy but it's not cold enough to to need fire it will be later, I'm sure. So, yeah, that's um, not much more now to tow path on that side. Um, later on, uh, a bridge, it changes over to the other side. And I was trying to see what's going on. He's not that happy, but he's better than he was. And he can't be that happy because he refused ham. We're just going over the little aqueduct uh, over the river Sow. So, Sow. Very pretty. And now we're finally away from the railway as well, so it'll be a bit quieter. Um, so, yeah, that's all good. We're making good progress. Alf's trying to dig himself into all of the corners, including the shower. He seems to like sitting in the shower next to the toilet. We are aqueduct over River Sow. Huh? <laughs> and there's Steve, surprisingly not on the boat. How are you doors doing? It's quiet though. Oh, now Al for me. So Alf and me are walking, and there goes Steve with Faulkner. Alf was a good boy for the most part. Uh, so I told him if he was a good boy, 
we'd walk the next bit. So it's just a little stroll from Tixel Lock up to Tixel Wide and then stop in for a nice cuppa. Ooh. Tired already. <laughs> no swimming you. He's thirsty. Good boy. Come on then. This is really pretty. He's a bit keen to be getting on. Because you can see, Steve's just mooring up. So I think we're going to stop here for a cuppa. Be nice if toilet allows to do a night here. And this just takes a wide. Really lovely. The swan's nest over there. Glad we're a long way away from that. Doesn't remind me of being on board. I see it's just mooring up. We can have a little breather. Probably something I could do with one by now. So this is today's view. We're on Tixel Wide. It's lovely and quiet down here. I thought it might have been a bit busy very wide oh here comes another boat that's how wide it is you can fit many boats here well, i think we're gonna do an oil change <laughs> on our uh beta bb3 um never done it before uh, so i've got it takes six liters of oil i've got an old five litre can uh, to pump out the old oil, instead of having a sump uh, pipe to pull out, it's connected to this pump, so we should be able to pump out all the oil. So we'll make sure we don't run the engine, although we do run the engine for at least 20 minutes just to warm the oil up, uh, turn up any muck in it, and then I'm going to uh, a bit of light there so you can see. I'm going to start pumping the old oil out with the hand pump. So I think I'll just pump. So we've just come down today from, uh, only from, yeah. by Stafford, by Jupson's. And me and Al fought the last little bit from the lock to Tixel Wide. And it's really lovely here. So, important note when you're changing the oil, there's a little cap, I don't know if you see that, at the end of the tap. You need to unscrew that first or the oil won't come out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Take a while. Shall we go back to the studio? Yeah, I'll uh, let you know when we're nearly there. Not a bad place to be doing an oil change. So, how are you getting on then? Yeah, all right. We've just uh, we've filled this five litre hold oil thing up. So, Buck says six litres. I'm hoping about this is a one and a half litre bottle. Should just double check. How much oil but you can you can see the oil coming out now, it's a bit grubby. Right, it's been serviced for some time. That's why we've got nice fresh oil. Blimey. Good, I'm quite glad that we stayed put for the rest of today because yeah. uh, it's a bit wet. Oh. So apprentice mechanic Alf is trying to put his nose in a funnel. And he's just gonna sit there. Hey, good boy. And what we have to remember is that is not coke in that bottle. Yeah. I'm going to store it in the building. Yeah. British bank holiday weather. Perfect. Ooh. So. Chilly. And that's Steve's doors that he built. Oh, yeah. My doors here. We'll come to that in another part of the show. So, uh, I'm just putting this... Uh, ah! Hey, Mom, shut that door. What the heck was that? Just water dripping in the thing. That wasn't dripping in. That just, I've just been peed on by the boat. So, that's empty. Yeah, I'll put the cap back on. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I'm covered in oil. I think it's probably a good job you didn't do this in your pyjamas. Yeah. And we have what looks like about a litre, so six litres. Sounds about right. The right amount. So, we'll put five in. 
and uh, and then we'll check the dipstick, which is around here. He's there. There's yeah. a dipstick. Um, oh, don't look sad, pop. Okay, so next job, get the new oil, which I've got here. I'm gonna get all of my new doors. I like that you were prepared for this. So, got plenty, and we got prepared earlier. It's a new wall filter. So this is where it gets scrubby, and then we're gonna need some rags and things. Uh, this is the oil filter here. So that's the next thing we're gonna change. Uh, so I also have a special tool. She's only doing them up hand tight, but to soak them off sometimes I get a bit tight with the heat. I've got a special pair of pliers that I'm screwing the oil filter. That's it. So and I think we'll go and get prepared with some rags so we don't leak oil everything. And we'll come back. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So, new oil. I've got a handy box for the old filter then. So let's just uh, pull a little bit of the new oil. We can see the difference in colour. And we're going to smear that over the face of the new filter. Uh, we can spin the old, old filter off. I think that's the right one, isn't it? Is that on? That's off. There you go, just to loosen it. Loosey lefty. Yeah. And then you've got to be, make sure. So we're going to do that one up this way. Righty tighty. You can probably hear it all dripping out. There you go. Yeah, there we go. We've got drippage. Old filter. It's quite a lot heavier because it's got oil in it. Well, we don't want to use the grip pliers to do it up. Let's make it hand tight. There we go. And not too much. Bit of mess down here, it's falling down. Another important thing to have on the uh, engine is an oil pan to catch any drips, and that means they won't be going into your build, won't get pumped out in the, into the canal. Put them unscrewing. Sort of threaded one, pressurised oil system. So we pour our oil. So we'll do our five litres. There's such a difference between the new and the old. Yeah, it's long overdue. Um, haven't been done, I don't think, for quite a while. You could almost say there. there's a juxtaposition between the old and new. You could say that, but. But I'd probably get kicked off the boat if I say it again. <laughs> and that is exactly why. You look out there, raining in here, warm, cozy. Oil change, dry, almost dry. Apart from the leaky bit with rain coming in. And Alf has found somewhere to rest his chin. And Alf make a difference doing this indoors. Yeah. So I always said when we were looking for a boat, I had a cruiser deck before and he used to do this under a tarpaulin in the cold. I said I wanted an engine room. If I so desired, I can do an oil change in my pyjamas. I think it's probably a good thing that you didn't wear your pyjamas though because your pyjamas would have been yeah, grunked up with oil by now. Been. Practicalities, yeah. but but the yeah. There we go. That's five liters of oil. You could Let's if you wanted it. to. And down there. So down here is the dipstick, just like dipstick you have on a car. So I'll just hook that up there. Oh heck! And, uh, and out there is a duck. <laughs> hard to see. It's still got a bit of the dirty oil, but you can see there. That's the oil level. And that's minimum maximum and it needs to be in that little mark section there just wipe that off so you can see so you can see the ear levels that's the kind of area it should be in so that's got five liters so let's put another liter in we've got some company let's pop that on there and we'll fill that with one liter of oil You've not taken the doings out the top. That's, um, just uh, checking my observation levels. That, yeah. Okay. I noticed. Uh, 
and they recommended 1040 and I'll check that against the manual that's the uh, type of oil um, this beta engine is based on the Ford tractor engine um, it needs synthetic oil or modern oil rather than mineral oil so Nice clean oil. Just wait for that to go through. Important thing, uh, used oil. Never put it in a bin. Always dispose of it at a proper oil facility. Which I found yeah. that is in Rugeley, there's a tip not far from the canal. Yeah. So we can wander up to the yeah. tip, get rid of the oil. Pop that in there, not fall over. And then we're all good. And secured in there. There we go, all done. And then, uh, Jobs are good. One. Fire it up. We'll check the oil pressure. This one's a winner. I was feeling sorry for the ducks because it's raining, but they're ducks. They live in the water. I need help. Alpha for me, are walking down to the junction. Uh, it's only about a mile, if that. So um, we're having a mooch and. Um, this is Bridge 108, which is Swivel Bridge, which is not a Swivel Bridge. See, we'll be catching up with you shortly. There's quite a lot of boats moored up ahead. I think we're going to head up to the marina to get some coal and some bread. And I don't know if he's doing his best sheep impression. I'm not sure this sheep approves of me. <laughs> there you are. Uh, that's the River Trent. It's even quite high at the minute. Yeah, there's been quite a lot of rain. Oh, the little baby sheep. That might be why it was looking at me funny. Me and Alpha on the aqueducts. It's coming up to Great Hayward Junction. Where I'm meeting Steve at the water point. I don't know, I'm going to figure out what to do after that. Going back down to the market. Probably go to the market tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, keep heading south.